Welcome to Motivational Monday. And you know, I have had some people ask me what's up with the background here. You got a diploma, you've got medals. Actually, my office is in um, an exercise room where marathon medals, half marathon medals, and all sorts of stuff are uh, on display. That's just the way it is. So if it looks a little bit like, hey, a medals, um, these were all hard earned medals. <laughs> hey there, how you doing? I got things turned sideways. Hey Afton, how you doing? Sending out some shout outs. I'm just explaining my decor. Um, yeah, a lot of hard earned medals. Matter of fact, one of them back behind me was my New York City Marathon in 2010. And it was two years after my double mastectomy. So it was my claim to fame, my return back to, to being a uh, kick-ass, uh, like a little swagger in the life. So um, yes, I proudly stand in front of my running medals and those things that um, remind me of how awesome and magnificent I am. Because part of my message today to you is to help you get back in the habit of reminding yourself how awesome you are. And hello to everyone who is coming on here. So if you missed the first one second, I always want to start with everything always works out for me. Ingrain that in your mind, because when your subconscious mind is working, which is over 70% of the time, our subconscious program is working. If you remember that everything is always working out for me, and that's your subconscious programming, guess what you attract into your life and your career? Everything always works out for you. That's right. Screenshot this and post it somewhere because it's an important thing to remember. And just so you know, this is hashtag Monday motivation. So feel free to tweet out and share this Periscope. Today, I'm talking about career sabotage. Because to be honest with you, and that's what the shift is, actually it's operate with total integrity. To be honest with you, I have made this mistake more times than I want to count. A career limiting move, CLM, is to gossip. Yes, I know we're human beings and we love just like gossip, gossip, gossip. But I want to tell you that it is a big problem. And I'm going to cover my first shift of my five shifts to your kick-ass career. But before that, a reminder, I am Mo Fall, America's kick-ass career coach. And why do I say kick-ass? You know, my parents are a little offended by the fact that I keep using this word. Uh, you know, Irish Catholic, kick-ass, that just doesn't quite jive with them. But I believe everyone should have some swagger in their career and in their life and feel that power, that, that kick-ass attitude. Not that you're gonna be harmful or negative to anyone. No, I believe when we know ourselves and our soul deeply, we have that swagger. And to me, kick-ass is the word of the day, the word of this year, of these next few years, of understanding and knowing that. And when we are kick-ass, we have made our number one job ourself. And I grew up thinking that that was a selfish way to live. I grew up thinking that if you put yourself first, it's selfish and that's bad. But what I've learned over studying all sorts of things about the universe working, how to be successful, I was a very high level executive and I believed in a lot of universal principles that we didn't dare talk about in the corporate world. But I'll tell you what, I'm human as much and maybe even more than most. Um, I admit that sometimes when I took the, my eye off the ball, when I took my eye off what really makes me successful and what makes all of us successful, which is saying yes to you, a reminder again, and everything always works out for you. So the number one shift that's gonna drive you to your kick-ass career is to operate with total integrity. And if you want to see my entire five shifts webinar, go to mofall.com. It's my website and you'll see, uh, click through there and you can find a time that works for you. My five shifts webinar is all about 
the five keys to making sure you're moving in the right direction with your career. And this week, we're covering shift number one. So for those of you who are counting, um, it's gonna be a five week series and I'm gonna dive deeply into each shift because I care so much about these. So I mentioned that I've made this CLM more than once, career limiting move. And I think you might know there are a couple of other career limiting moves, but actually nothing bigger than what I'm about to talk about. Because the basis of this career limiting move is self mastery. When you master yourself, when you have your own personal emotions and, and your self attitude, and you make yourself number one, because when you take care of yourself, put your oxygen mask on first, then you can attend to others, you go in the right direction. So stop sabotaging yourself with this career limiting move. And again, I've made it many times. So I wanna talk a little bit about, um, as you're going towards your kick-ass career, before we talk about your career limiting move, how do you value yourself? How do you give value to yourself and how do you exchange that for money? That's really what your kick-ass career is all about. Next week I'm talking about that in depth. But I wanna tell you that when you understand who you are and what you bring to the game, you can practice being a happier self. And it's by happier habits, focusing on happier things that bring you where you want to be. So you must change your habits and help others to be positive. That's part of operating with total integrity. That's part of the shift number one. When you operate with total integrity, you are focusing on things that are positive and you are bringing happier and a more upbeat place to work. So here's how to operate with total integrity. Focus on positivity. The one way to stop being negative is to focus on positive. I say wherever you shine your flashlight, that's where your light goes, that's where your focus goes, and that's where your attitude goes. It all goes together. You can't help it. So I want you to focus, first of all, on being a positive person in the workforce, being a positive influence. That's operating with total integrity. That's bringing your A game. That's bringing everyone up. And that is total integrity. You know, I grew up thinking that integrity just was about lying or not lying or cheating or not cheating or stealing or not stealing. You know what? That's all done. All of those should be checkbox, checkbox, checkbox. I'm talking about total integrity in the 21st century. And that is bring your happy, positive self to work and lift others. Number two kind of follows. See awesome. See awesome all around you. Focus on what's working. Focus on how awesome and how great everyone is around you. Compliment people. Bring them up. I don't care what your job is right now. There is a big part of everyone's job to lift their workplace and to be that person who brings others to their best self. Be that team member who is awesome. Focus on you being awesome. Focus on others being awesome. All right. Here is the third part of operating with total integrity. Cease gossiping now. Stop it. Stop hanging out and talking about Sally or Jim or Nate and how things are going in the wrong direction and how they are the problem. Stop gossiping. It's a career limiting move. I've made it. I bet you've made it once or twice. I've made it way too often. How about you're just like venting in someone's doorway in the hallway and you're talking about someone who's annoying or who was annoying in the meeting, and oh, as the universe will have it to make you all blush, ah, they walk by. Now, you stop talking about them that minute, but they know you were talking about them, you know you were talking about them, and what happens to your spirit? You get a negative 
dagger. Oh, gossiping never, ever, ever, ever works out. It never works out for you. But the thing that I want to tell you about is this. You send that boomerang out into the universe and it's going to come smack you right in the head sometime later. Maybe not directly. That boomerang may take a week, a year, maybe it takes 10 years. But when you gossip, not only is it a career limiting move in the moment, but you have sent negativity out into the universe that is going to come back to you. You got to plant seeds of what you want to see harvest. So when you gossip, you're planting seeds. They're going to come up in a negative spirit, in a negative fashion for yourself. That is not kick ass, folks. Operate with total integrity and cease. Wait, it just, oh, I put that one away. Cease gossiping. All right, number four on operating with total integrity. Do right and be right for yourself and for others. That's like Dudley Do-Right. Remember him from Bowinkle? Dudley Do-Right. He always do-do-do, rode in on a horse and like fixed things. That's who you are. <laughs> That's who you are, you kick-ass career person and lover. You are not gossiping. You are doing right. You are focusing on awesomeness and you are bringing positivity and lifting everyone else. And I don't mean because you're going to be like depleting your own energy. Because when you focus on you, and that was the number one thing I said today, when you focus on you, you bring yourself up first and then you have energy to give. I'm not saying give out of depletion. I'm not saying give because you're the victim and you're, oh, I'm the only one who's happy at work and, oh, everyone else is miserable. Uh-uh. That is gossip, girl and boys. <laughs> do not do that. Come from an area and a function of your energy being centered and full. And then bring it. Bring it. Every single day. Do right for you and by others. Now, when you retrain your mind, yes, you must retrain your mind. Boop. Retrain your mind to be thinking of happy, positive thoughts. When you stop gossiping, when you focus on happy and higher self, when you focus on the awesomeness around you, when you focus on people doing right and you doing right, you have naturally retrained your mind. You are training your mind every single day with your thoughts. When you think happy, when you think positive, when you stop gossiping, you're going to change your habits. And when you change your habits, you change your life. Everything you do today is a seed that you're planting for tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So, I firmly, firmly believe that we must bring the universal principles of how things work with the law of attraction and the power of positive thinking to work. We have to. Why would we operate differently in the workplace thinking that things go differently in the workplace? They don't. Hey, Barbara and Brenda, nice to see you guys. Um, so you've got to bring all of that to you with you to work. I talked about last week bringing your soul to work. Today, it is one of my five shifts. It is shift number one, operate with total integrity. And again, those four things to move in that direction. Number one, bring all the positivity and happiness to your workplace. Number two, focus on what's awesome and what's working. Bring it out, shine a light on it. Talk to someone, hey, you know what? Your desk is like always neat and organized. That is awesome, you rock. Why not say that when you walk by someone's cubicle that's all together? Why not give acknowledgement and bring it up? Hey girl, how you doing? Why not do that? Number three, cease gossiping. And number four, do right and be right. Bring your A game all the time. All right, so what happens next? Every week I'm bringing you Motivational Monday at mofall.com. If you're not on my email list, you're missing out. If you're not following me on Twitter, you're missing out. As I revealed last week, I've got some super smart, fantastic people who are pulling all sorts of resources off of the internet and tweeting it out. And we are loving on people who are bringing A-game stuff so that you can enhance your career and enhance yourself 
you follow me at Coach Mofall on Twitter and you are going to get a load of resources all the time. Matter of fact, I want to like my own tweets because I've got kick-ass people helping me bring you the best there is of all of career resources out there. And there are some fantastic resources out there. I'm going to give a little shout out to themuse.com because I love their stuff. And they also have job postings toward a millennial audience. But hey, go for it. Check it out. There's a lot of great stuff there. And um, this month coming up, March, I am going to be blogging monthly for healyourlife.com. It's the Hay House website. And I've got a nice doozy for you this uh, this month, so go check it out at HealYourLife.com. But you can find all my stuff at MoFall.com. Check out my 11 lessons. Check out my 321 career story. If you don't have an elevator pitch, you need one. So this is shift number one. Operate with total integrity. Have an integrous week. Focus on awesome. Focus on bringing your A-game stop gossiping. Will you take the pledge just one day at a time? Take the pledge to stop bringing gossip to your workplace. Do not limit your career by being that person. All right. Have a motivational Monday. This is Mo Fall, your kick-ass career coach. Thanks everyone for coming today and we will see you next Monday at 12 noon. And from time to time, I may pop back up here on Periscope during the week. I love you guys. I love helping inspire you, and I want each and every one of you to feel kick-ass and to have a kick-ass career. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.